Hello, everyone. Meteorologist Tim Williams here on WJZ.com. Your latest update from WJZ Weather. We got to a daytime high today of 49 degrees. We hit that high at 233 this afternoon. 712 was our overnight low. We hit that in the early hours of this morning at 23 degrees. Nowhere near the normal high and low of 73 and 2. It's 73 back in 1964, 2 back in 1983. Normal high and low. 43 and 26. So we are dropping now tonight under clear skies. Only a few high thin clouds out there. Nothing uh, with any precipitation or any rain associated with it. But we're going to be watching some rain moving into our area. High pressure is in control of our forecast now. But there is rain in the heartland of the country and a low pressure system moving into our region. It's associated with a warm front. The warm front's going to bring warmer temperatures to us by Friday. We're going to be up in the 60 degree range. By Thursday evening into the overnight hours, we'll start to see some of the heavier rain moving in. Do not be surprised to hear rumble of thunder or so with this system, and it could bring us potentially an inch of rain or so before it moves out of here on Friday morning. Now, Friday morning, we still have the rain moving through by 11 o'clock, but then here comes the cold front, starts to push most of the activity out of here. Behind it, the temperatures will drop, but the skies will also clear. So by late on Friday and into Saturday, conditions start to uh, calm down, and it looks like it'll be pretty nice. Our next chance of rain then will be a uh, little, little chance on Sunday morning, but the best chance will be New Year's Eve into New Year's Day, unfortunately. Your sunrise tomorrow is at 725. Your next high tide at Fort McHenry at 1026. Tonight's overnight low, 28 degrees. We'll call it clear for tomorrow. Sun gives way to clouds. 48 degrees is our daytime high. Then for the next seven days, our temperature goes to uh, 48 on Thursday, 62 on Friday, down to 52 on Saturday. We will see 42 in time for the Ravens kickoff with an early shower possibly on Sunday. And then showers possible on Monday night into Tuesday. That's New Year's Eve festivities. Un un uh, Unfortunately, I should say, but we'll be keeping an eye on that as we get closer. That could change. And then sunny skies on Wednesday to get your week started and your year started. There's your latest update from WJZ Weather. We'll see you here with another one on WJZ at 11. See you then.